Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. Now, I want to thank my user 604 Nation because they had asked the question on a previous video, how did you go from 190 to 380 pounds? What was the story? Well, that got me thinking, and I decided to work on reconstructing my memory over time on all the trials and tribulations, along with some associated stories of what transpired from 1977 when I was 22 years old to present day. So let's get to it with this episode. Boiling Frog continues. Right now, I'm, the frog is in the pool. And by the way, the temperature here in Thailand is really, really hot. The whole country's complaining that it's just about as hot as a lot of people have been here for years, remember. And it's really weird because in the northern provinces of Pro Thailand, and remember, we're in the northern hemisphere, just like the United States, you know, 500 miles north of here, it's even hotter than it is here. I don't know, maybe it's a breeze that comes off the uh, Sea of Thailand here uh, that comes in. Because we are only 15 minutes from the beach, so we get a nice breeze all the time. But it is hot. I mean, it, it's like uh, in some places, the heat index was 120 degrees like 50 degrees Celsius, which is 124 degrees. That's the heat index. But the actual temperatures were like 44 degrees Celsius. Really hot. So the boiling frog here, we're going back in time. I want to tell you the story about how I tried the Atkins diet. And believe it or not, Atkins diet was all about eating meat and fat and very low carbohydrates. And I actually did good on it. But, you know, because I loved eating, like they said, eat bacon. Eat bacon, okay? They weren't big on eggs, but eat bacon. Eat steak. You know, eat hamburger. I mean, and then, of course, Atkins tried to make money selling all these crap bars, which sabotaged you because the bars were sweet tasting, which spiked your insulin and didn't help you. Because remember, on a true carnivore diet, you really need to avoid anything that tastes even sweet. If it tastes sweet, you don't want it because that sweet taste is just as bad as sugar. I mean, like using stevia and things like that. That, that really, you know, your body confuses itself. It says, oh, here comes the sugar. Well, it isn't really, but it still spikes your insulin. And Atkins was real big on buying Atkins bars and Atkins shakes and things like that. And when I tried it back in the day, I bought all the bars, I bought all the shakes. And when I could, I ate the, you know, basically stayed away from the breads. That was their big thing. Eat a lot of bacon, you know, because I could eat bacon when I wanted to. I remember... Somehow or the other, me and my buddy Bobby, I was on the Atkins kick when we went down to the Derby City Classic Pool event. And we got a room that we shared there for this pool tournament. And somehow or the other, and I don't remember how I was doing it, but I was trying to stay on the Atkins diet and I was trying to eat a lot of bacon. And I forget how I finangled it, but 
I did okay, but I relied a lot on their bars. And had I did a true carnivore, maybe I would have stayed. But there was some negative propaganda that I think was promulgated by companies that didn't want you to be on a carnivore type diet. They wanted you have healthy Cheerios for breakfast. Heart healthy Cheerios. And Quaker oatmeal for breakfast. And don't forget the fantastically tasting Thomas's English muffins. All these companies, I think, conducted a little propaganda war against anything that Atkins was trying to promote, which was don't eat the cereals, don't eat the breads, don't have the pizzas. And I think I fell a little bit victim to that prop propaganda. But where Atkins got it wrong, maybe the science wasn't there to help him figure it out. You got to get rid of the sweet taste. And you have to keep <coughs> to a truer carnivore lifestyle. Beef, chicken, pork, that sort of thing. Now, Doy's getting hooked. She just left, said she'll be back in 10 minutes. I said, where are you going? She says she wanted grilled pork, and they sell it down the street at a street vendor. Okay, so we don't cook it at home all the time. Don't have to. Just so long as she isn't eating Tom Yam or Yam Tom or more noodles, more rice, more vegetables. Stay away from that stuff. Hard to hard to get, you know, bad eating grilled pork. Let me tell you, some of these street vendors, they fire up that charcoal grill. They put that pork on a stick and then they grill it just perfect because they do it all day long and that's what they do. And it tastes pretty goddamn good. Now, I'm sure that it might not be as perfect as cooking it at home. Did they put anything on it? Some sort of flavoring? Uh, I don't know what sauce they put on it. But it still beats the hell out of eating Tom Yum or Som Tom or whatever the name is. I was never a big fan. Or Patia Salad, Papaya Salad, not Patia Salad, Papaya Salad, okay? I mean, those are all bad things for you. So I tried the Atkins diet. It was like half the way there. It really was. It was half the way there. And he did he did all right. He made a lot of money selling his books and selling his his uh, Atkins bars and Atkins this and Atkins that. But it still didn't get me there and I still got a little fatter. That's all, folks.